Flight stars Denzel Washington, Kerry O'Reilly and Don Chiddle. Denzel Washington is a pilot and he wakes up in a hotel room with a naked lady who walks the length of the hotel room about three times so that we can see all of her bits. He finishes off a beer from last night, smokes a joint of weed and snorts cocaine powders up his nose. And then he does this. Then it's revealed that Denzel is to fly a plane that very morning. The shock in the cinema was palpable. A lady tutted. Denzel flies the plane through some stormy clouds to show what a good pilot he is, even though we know his nose is full of crack drugs. Then as Denzel tries to land the plane, something breaks and the plane begins to nosedive. A metaphor for his life? You be the judge. But yes, it is. Denzel turns the plane upside down, which means when they crash, most of the passengers survive. I don't know why this is, but it does look very good. Whilst all this is going on, Kelly O'Reilly, an attractive pasty woman with needle holes in her arm and grubby fingers, bumbles about from place to place trying to get a hit, which means doing a drug. She's not a bad drug addict, she's one of the nice ones, because when she goes home we find out that she's got a professional camera, which means that at some point she wanted to be a professional photographer, and we can relate to this because we all have dreams that remain unfulfilled. I wanted to be a coroner. But, you know, didn't happen, so... Kelly O'Reilly injects some special smack while standing in front of several photographs of her with her mum. They're touching and photoshopped. In case you were in any doubt that Kelly O'Reilly is a great big drug addict, we also hear the song Under the Bridge by the Red Hot Chili Pokers, which is a song about being smacked off your socks under a bridge. Denzel is in hospital with one of those tubes that go round the face and up the nose, and he connects with Kelly O'Reilly on the stairwell. She's also in hospital because she did too much drugs. They have a smoke together and talk about life I think. Denzel escapes the attentions of the media by going to the family farm and it's here that he too stares at photographs of himself with his family smiling and it really hits home how sad he is now and how happy he was in the past. It's clear that Kelly O'Reilly and Denzel Washington are going to have sex so to speed up this process she reveals that she's a masseuse and massages his twisted leg. She starts massaging the top of his leg and because the top of his leg is near his genitals they start having sex so that's that out of the way. Kelly O'Reilly being a masseuse is never mentioned again. The rest of the film is made up of very exciting scenes featuring Don Chiddle and a load of other men sitting around tables discussing plane investigation crash procedure and toxicology reports. All the while Denzel is pondering on whether he's an alcoholic or not. Turns out he is. So that's the film. If you choose to watch it, I hope you enjoy it. Goodbye. Yes.